It's half eight. I've been up since four. It's been productive, but a bit crazy. I've had, this is my third coffee. I've had a handful of nuts, orange juice, lots of sparkling water, and I just made this breakfast quesadilla with just avocado gouda and hot sauce. We don't have any eggs at the moment, so. I'm gonna start work now. I'm gonna go out probably 11ish, 12ish or so to work and have coffee outside. That's a lot of coffee. I'm to get myself outside for some fresh air. That's the plan. If I see anything interesting today on the first week of 2021, I shall film it. I hope you all have a good day. By the time you see this, you will have already lived this day. But hey, hi from past me. Hi to future you. Hello. Happy greetings. Where is my ghost day? It's really, really quiet. It's quite cloudy today. I'd say the restaurants and everything will be a bit nuts tonight. I feel like I've been wearing the same jumper forever. But it's cozy and not dirty. Why am I explaining myself? Anyway, um, none of the shops are open. Maybe that's why it's quiet. The bars will be open. Oh, sure, what time is it? This is why I'm confusing myself. Of course nobody's about. It's 25 past 11. We have a remote control for the heating. Instead of going outside to turn it on, um, we programmed it. and We put on like 24, which in my opinion is too high. Woke up at 5 past 4 and decided to get up. Meditate, journal, scrub the sitting room, even though it was already clean, but I feel it's easier if you just top it up every few days. I read this book I'm reading, which is really interesting, called Eating Animals, and he's a wonderful writer. Um, a bit disturbing though. This isn't like for me trying to transition or segue into veganism, but I'm more interested in vegetarianism. I only eat, I've been eating, I had more steak around Christmas, but generally I eat red meat maybe once a month. I'm just kind of reading about a lot of horrible stuff and my god animals i knew already but animals in america are treated like crap all over the world especially chickens anyway not the best stuff to talk about well it is good a good subject to talk about but on my new year's vlog my first week of new year's yeah i did all that stuff what else did i do started work just a little bit early now i'm going down surprise actually for three and a half hours of sleep that i you can't really tell <laughs> so yeah no supermarkets are open nothing like that obviously but I'm going to Puerta Bernina. Gotta really slow that down. I'm going to Puerta Bernina to do a bit of work. Um, they don't have Wi Fi or anything, but I'm just gonna share my data. Go there and get another coffee. Four is my cut off. Before three o'clock, I've already had way too many coffees. I'm gonna have cake or something. So it's quiet, look. So I'll go in there for a while just to kind of get out of the house. Then I'll come back, make lunch, which is the eggplant, mozzarella, tomato, herb, garlic, onion, vibe. And yeah, so what is today? Today's Wednesday. As I said, I'm just gonna do this New Year's vlog the first week, get back into writing, and do vlogs occasionally. Mixture. I was gonna say smorgasbord, but that's more than one thing. Fountain. Probably because I was shocked at how quiet it is and I was like, hold on, Emma, you've been up since half four and it's 25 past 11. I feel good that I've achieved so much. Anyway, I love those kinds of days, all right? She stopped there because some video playing outside a cafe and I swear the guy who was on camera looked like a Yaki's dad. Anyway, let's hope the Puerto Verena is open. Dog in my way. Yes, it is. I'm gonna sit inside and work so in a corner, get myself cozy. I'm gonna settle in this little cozy corner. these ladies be dry that didn't take much time at all after I put olive oil on them I'm gonna put them here this looks ridiculous because I dropped a roll of tin foil and tried to roll the back up and it was a disaster so this is what we're left with they're in there brushed with olive oil looking like some weird kind of fruit I'm gonna chop an onion and because we're having a very small one for lunch between the two of us I'm using this tiny casserole dish if you've never made this before, it's so simple and so delicious. It's actually one of those dishes where it's better the next day, but it definitely won't last more than a day today. I'm gonna do some work, then turn on the grill and get to it, and I'll just show you what I do then. Right, so I think the good old Italians will put this tomato in a pot and heat it and all that good stuff. But I literally put the can of tomatoes in a bowl. I mixed in onion that I chopped roughly. I put fresh garlic cloves and lots of dried herbs, oregano and basil, and lots of salt and pepper. I'm just about to ooh, steam. Just about to flip these guys. There's some parmesan to be chopped because Inyaki and I are both working. I'm just making some break. This is the mozzarella we have. I normally buy a ball of mozzarella and chop it, but this would be just fine. So we're gonna do this, then the layers, then the cheese, both types of cheese. Then you usually do fresh basil and then you just keep layering it till they're all gone. There's not gonna be that many though, as you've seen from the grill. Then you put it in the oven at 180 for like maybe 20 minutes. It doesn't take long at all. Very simple recipe, but if you want me to expand on it, obviously there's Google, but if you want me to do it a bit more traditionally, um, 
let me know and I'll um, write it out properly or repost it. Okay, here's these guys, a little bit more dried up. Change from grill to oven, fan oven, 180. And yeah, let's go. We have such a little aubergine that it's probably gonna be like two layers with a lot of tomato. Yeah. I just love using up leftovers. Like, it brings me so much joy. I hate, hate, hate waste, as I was saying. Okay, my layer of cheese. No fresh, beautiful, colorful basil, but next time. Okay, do my second tomato -y layer of stuff. The last aubergine, more tomato, and then cheese on the top, and then more cheese, and then oven. Yeah. Okay, she's ready. Put all the cheese on top and a little bit more oregano because why not? Looks bizarre, but it's so delicious and amazing. And continuing with the tradition of using the leftovers, just eating some of Inyaki's Christmas baklava and little. Mm. On our way to have dinner with some friends. We're supposed to leave at half six, but as usual, my New Year's resolution of leaving on time at half five didn't work though. I'll try and keep up my half five resolution. Yes. Hmm. But anyway, things can just wait until tomorrow. Things can just wait in general. It's a different world now. Anyway, my rant is over. Just feeling anxious and a bit irritated, and I have to be honest as well with how I'm feeling. And I just feel, yeah, just it's a lot. And I've been up since four, and it still wasn't enough time to get stuff done. So, this town's moany. I'm sorry, but I can't always be like rainbows and smiles. Quieter than I thought for Magos, but it's in between the curfew where you can't drink. Just have coffee, so maybe that's why. Or maybe it's more of a family day and they're going home or going for dinner. I honestly don't know. It's not as cold, which is always a bonus. Um, yeah, we can only arrive at our friend's house. I don't know what they're cooking, so that'll be a surprise. And that's all my needs for now. January 7th, it's currently, it's only 11 a.m. It's a disgusting rainy day. It's freezing as well. <laughs> but I don't mind, have my umbrella, have my mask. Um, we went for dinner at a friend's house last night. Jordan and Darcy, and Jordan made these amazing meatballs and spaghetti. And Darcy made like the most crazy, most crazy, the most incredible chocolate chip cookies in like 15 minutes flat, it was insane. And there was another Irish guy there, and there was a guy from Czech Republic who I'd seen before. Nice little crowd and uh, by 10 I was wilting so we came home. I was in bed by, by the time I actually kind of wound down. It was nearly midnight and I got up naturally about half seven so I still have a lot of time to myself this morning. So got some work done. Did a bit of overtime yesterday as well. So I'm just going down to the benefit counter in the Corte Inglés to get my sequitos done. My brows. I like my thick bushy brows but right now they have no um, Form. You know what I mean? So I usually go once a year to benefit and then kind of follow the line of the design that they do. So that's my once a year eyebrow treatment. Then I'm gonna go to Puerto Bernina, just like yesterday. Horrible, horrible rainy day. I'm gonna get a coffee and some kind of cake for breakfast. Tear me up. And uh, I'm actually not sad, it's just, <laughs> it's going to rain and snow for the foreseeable, apparently. And uh, my mom actually sent me photos from Ireland and there's snow there already. So we're all kind of in the same boat. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good first week. Weather's been weird, I've had a lot done. I feel like I'm going in the right direction. Hopefully I keep up with all my good habits, etc. That's the story. I'm going for dinner later to catch up with Taylor. I have my favorite pizza. And then after that, for the rest of the weekend, I'll probably just kind of clean out the room, I think. My clothes, my shoes, fix them up. My jewelry, all over the place. Just rearrange the place a bit and probably just watch Pixar movies on their blankets. I think I still haven't seen Onward and I haven't seen Soul. I mean, that kind of buzz where I want something light and easy to watch when it's rainy and muggy and not muggy, when it's rainy and soggy outside. <laughs>
back. I had to run into Corte Inglés again after Puerto Bernina where I had my breakfast. I ran out of Oatly. This is so good. Better than regular milk. Foams better and it's very creamy and it's definitely the best one in the Barista edition. And of course some of this. It took me ages to pick when I was going to get lint but I was like nah. There's too many fussy flavours these days. I'm trying not to eat as many biscuits as of gluten. I'm trying to have this or a handful of mixed nuts. Back to do some work. Have my little purchases. Got my eyebrows done and that is so far my rainy Thursday. Oh, and in typical fashion, I explained in my video that I cracked my phone in the top corner, the weak corner. My phone cover that I ordered from Burga just arrived. I post today. Show you. Just a nice, simple one. Really wish I had this the other week. Um, but your look, I'll get it fixed at some point. Nice cover though, really like it. Well, I just foamed that oat milk. I had to use the cappuccino setting. The only thing that people, a lot of people bought this machine for Christmas and I'm gonna go through a couple of things about it. But I bought this new wand to replace. I really have to do it, but it's a big job. I have to take apart the entire machine from underneath and all the wires and cables and stuff. But this is the microphone wand, which was really good. The pressure wasn't like a super professional level, but it was pretty good and it did like a really good microphone. But after a while there's no damage on it or anything but after a while i'd be microfoaming and it would literally just blow off and the steam would just go everywhere and it's pretty dangerous so so i can still foam stuff i have to put this on but i have to use this neck the hot milk cappuccino one which i'm not crazy about keeps the thing from blowing up i just usually rinse them put them on the drying thing and i just leave it like that when i'm not using it milk is like that obviously it still tastes really good i think i steamed too much milk for such a teeny tiny cup and I have a little, oh, it's too much, hang on. Take a wee sip, left-handed, I'm not left-handed. Ooh, I'm sure that will do. Coffee time, Nomad coffee, just ran out. All I have left is my filter for my Chemex, or my V60, but I did put in a new order. That should be there in the next couple of days. Exciting. It is, oh, there's my new brows, by the way. I think they look good. <laughs> All right, so it's nearly 8 p.m. Made a reservation for Tagatea, where I get my favorite, favorite pizza, which has been featured, I don't know how many, a million times. And it's currently up to eight, and it's only a 15 minute walk, it's lashing rain, and it's rotten out, and I'm late, as usual. Just walking down by San Matias. I'm going to meet Taylor outside Burger King, and we're gonna walk together. So that was my first week of 2021, and I'm ending it with my favorite pizza. That's time last week. I'm gonna go this way, there's people in my way that are way too slow. And I'm just on Kaya Navas now. Um, so, this time last week, not this time, but this day last week was when Anyaki and I had made a reservation to go for dinner for New Year's Eve. First New Year's Eve together. And the restaurant just decided to close and not tell us. That was interesting. Thought it'd be a different Thursday tonight. It's super quiet. Look. You know I'm gonna film my pizza. I bet everybody's sick of seeing this pizza. I do not care. It's the best pizza in the world. beautiful I can't stand it give me a smile <laughs> Had a really nice dinner. Fran looked after us really well as always. Brought us some chocolate truffle, limoncello, and wine, and my favorite pizza each. And we shared a salad, so I'm stuffed. The pizza base is so light that you wouldn't really notice. Like it's not very, it's not so much pinching. We actually walk so fast because of the rain that I can barely breathe behind my mask. So excuse me for the heavy breathing. Cat me and be it's an absolutely rotten day. Look, nobody's out. It's Friday tomorrow, but yeah, it's just really, really disgusting out. I'm the only one on the street and I think I'll just leave it at that guys. Very first week of 2021. Feel good. Feeling healthier after all the Christmas stuff. Need a bit more sleep to get rid of the eye bags. But in general, feeling a lot better. And yeah, it was good to check in. It's the very first week of 2021 and I shall see you all soon. Bye!